Best motherboards for AMD Ryzen 5000 CPUs. 5950X, 5900X, 5800X, 5600X. In video we show you different AMD AM4 motherboards that we can recommend for the Zen 3 powered Ryzen 5000 CPUs. We show you both latest ATX and MATX based motherboards for AMD Zen 3 series. MATX motherboards are perfect for budget-friendly gaming PCs, as they still have all of the main features that standard ATX motherboards have. The only real difference is that standard ATX motherboards offer better aesthetics, more PCIe slots, and beefier VRMs for overclocking. Now we talk about the latest five motherboards that are ATX-based. First one is Asus ROG X570 Crosshair 8 Formula, best enthusiast option. Asus is known for making some of the best motherboards that you can buy on the market. The Asus ROG X570 Crosshair 8 formula is a top-of-the-line variant that is made for enthusiasts that want the best performance possible without compromise. That is why it comes with integration for VRM water cooling. The motherboard is covered in armor which is something that you expect from a high-end Asus motherboard. The motherboard comes with Wi-Fi 6. The I.O. includes a BIOS flashback button and a clear CMOS button. The motherboard also has 5G Ethernet as well as a regular Ethernet port and USB Type-C. The Asus ROG X570 Crosshair 8 formula has a couple of RGB lighting zones and an LED on the left side which you can customize. Interestingly the jack for your headphones and mic etc. also light up. Advantages of this motherboard are Impressive overclocking potential Onboard LED Solid build quality VRM water cooling integration Excellent water cooling support, plenty of fan and RGB headers, PCIe Gen 4 support, the only disadvantage of this motherboard is very expensive. Second one is Asus ROG Strix X570e, best premium option. The Asus ROG Strix X570e is a premium motherboard but it is not priced as high as the Crosshair 8 formula. This is more of a prosumer or gaming oriented motherboard. There is not integrated water cooling support and you do not get all the water cooling support that you get on the Crosshair 8 formula but you do still get plenty of bells and whistles that you expect from premium Asus motherboards. The motherboard has four DIMM slots and under the armor you have room for two M.2 slots. The motherboard has plenty of headers for case fans and RGB. There is an error LED light that will give you an error code for troubleshooting when something goes wrong. Advantages of this motherboard are M.2 slots do not disable SATA 6 ports, plenty of armor, great gamer design, LED multiplexer for troubleshooting, PCIe Gen 4 support disadvantages of this motherboard are pricing is a bit higher. Third one is Gigabyte X570 Aorus Elite. The Gigabyte X570 Aorus Elite is a relatively affordable X570 motherboard that you can buy right now. Aorus is the premium brand of Gigabyte and this is something that we recommend for the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X and AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. You can use this motherboard with a higher end CPU but if you are interested in overclocking then you might want substantial cooling or a better motherboard. There is only a single 8-pin power connector so overclocking potential can be a bit limited. The design of the motherboard is pretty subtle and RGB lighting is limited so it should blend in well with the rest of your setup. The motherboard has a couple of USB ports but there is no USB Type-C port so that might be a bit disappointing for some people. Advantages of this motherboard are Subtle design, chipset fan only kicks in when needed, 12 plus 2 phase power design, great value for money, PCIe Gen 4 support disadvantages of this motherboard are No troubleshooting LED lights, BIOS could be better. Fourth one is Asus ROG Strix B550F Gaming. Here we have another motherboard from Asus but this is a mid-range option. The B550 chipset is not as expensive as the X570 but it still gives you PCIe Gen 4 support which is important if you are interested in future proofing your system and using the latest graphics cards and SSDs. The motherboard has a subtle black design with some RGB lighting but nothing too fancy. The motherboard has a 12 plus 2 phase digital VRM setup. You get a couple of USB ports as well as USB Type-C. The motherboard also has 2.5G Ethernet and Wi-Fi 6 support. Advantages of this motherboard are Good value for money, subtle design, both M.2 slots have heat sinks, great RGB support disadvantages of this motherboard are 
using M.2 slots disable some SATA 6 ports fifth one is MSI B550A Pro. The MSI B550A Pro has a very subtle design and does not come with flashy RGB lighting. The motherboard comes in all black and there are some silver accents as well. It comes with a BIOS reset button at the back. Also at the back, you have USB 3.2 Gen 2, USB 3.2 Gen 1 and USB Type-C as well. It also features 2.5G Ethernet. There is no optical port but you do get jacks for your headphones and mic etc. There are two M.2 slots but only the top one has a heatsink. Advantages of this motherboard are Relatively cheaper, subtle all black design disadvantages of this motherboard are No optical port, no RGB. Now we talk about the other five motherboards that are MATX based. First one is ASRock B5 FIFTYMPR04. This version is similar to the MSI B550 A Pro but it is smaller. The MATX form factor means that the board is shorter so the options are a bit fewer as well. You still get two PCIe slots and the top one is reinforced for better GPU support. The motherboard has white armor and is ideal if you are interested in building a white PC. There are six SATA 6 ports on the motherboard but when you install the M.2 SSDs the SATA 5 and 6 ports are going to be disabled and you will be left with four ports that are actually usable. Advantages of this motherboard are Good value for money, solid build quality, decent BIOS disadvantages of this motherboard are SATA port 5 and 6 disabled after installing M.2 drives second one is MSI Mag B550M mortar. Next up we have the MSI Mag B5 FIFTYM mortar which is another MATX motherboard that we recommend for the AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. The motherboard features plenty of armor and an integrated I.O. shield for easy installation. The motherboard features four DIMM slots for your RAM and two PCIe slots for your graphics cards. You get two M.2 slots. Advantages of this motherboard are Great VRMs, ideal for easy overclocking, solid build quality, integrated I.O. shield disadvantages of this motherboard are BIOS reset jumper is poorly positioned, not enough USB ports in the back. Third one is MSI B550M Pro, VDH Wi-Fi. This is a pretty barebones motherboard and there is nothing fancy like RGB or armor. That is reflected in the pricing as well. The VRM cooling and the quality of the motherboard is still good enough for the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X and AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, provided that you are not going to do any intense overclocking. The motherboard has four SATA 6 ports for HDDs. Other features include AMD Turbo USB 3.2 Gen 2. Advantages of this motherboard are Relatively inexpensive, two M.2 ports, solid build quality disadvantages of this motherboard are pretty bare bones. Now the last two motherboards are ITX motherboards. First one is Asus ROG Strix B550i Gaming. Asus ROG Strix B550i Gaming is an ITX motherboard and it looks really good. The design is pretty aggressive and this is the kind of motherboard that you need to get if you are interested in building a small form factor build but are not willing to compromise on power. Advantages of this motherboard are Dual M.2 slots, very cool design, ideal for small form factor PCs. Disadvantages of this motherboard are Could use some more USB ports. Last one is Gigabyte B550i Aorus Pro Axe. If the Asus model does not float your boat then you can check out the Aorus Pro Axe. This version comes with features similar to the Asus model. The motherboard also comes with four SATA 6 ports and a single PCIe slot which is reinforced. There is a single 8-pin power connector so overclocking is going to be limited. Even though this is a smaller motherboard you still get two M.2 slots. The second one is on the back side of the motherboard. These are some of the best motherboards for AMD Zen 3 Ryzen 5000 CPUs that you can buy right now. If you are interested in high-speed PCIe Gen 4 SSDs to go with your CPU and motherboard then be sure to check out our recommendations for some of the best PCIe Gen 4 SSDs. That is over for now. We discussed top 10 motherboards in this video as you like this video please do subscribe.